yes, we are having a little fun this morning with some interesting background images, but uh, notes are coming. The notes are coming. Winter is coming. Uh, hopefully, because it's 95 degrees here today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but hope everybody's doing well out there today. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, we're back in town for spending a couple days in Southern California. I have to give a big shout out to Lloyd at the LA Real Estate Investors Club. Great group, had a great time speaking up there Thursday night at the club. Um, excited to welcome some new Note family crew to the uh, the Note fam. So, but it is a uh, interesting thing today I want to focus on for the most part. And it, it's funny when, I find it so hilarious sometimes as I sit in the airport last night, okay, literally in LAX, getting ready to fly out, and I'm just killing some time, flipping through uh, so social media, and I see all these posts about Game of Thrones, right? You know, winter is coming, or uh, all that stuff, and I'm cracking up, and yeah, we're having kind of a little interesting filter here background on the Iron, um, Iron Throne. The Iron Throne, thank you. I actually don't watch a lot of Game of Thrones. Um, but I found it interesting enough. Oh, people are starting to like this a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Um, I don't watch a lot of it. But what's funny is seeing so many posts about Game of Thrones. People are like, oh, I got my Game of Thrones wine from Jackie Woodward. Or the winter is coming. Or all the Instagram posts. And I just find it, I find it hilarious because people are marketing. And they're marketing their likes once. Okay, they're marketing what they enjoy doing, their social stuff. And I crack up about that because I'm like, I want to reach across there. I'm like, do it for yourself. Market something for yourself. Okay. Um, and if you think about it, when Game of started off on HBO, was it was seven seasons ago? This is the seventh season. Okay. It did okay. But you got to think it, you know how it started initially? You know how it started? Well, they pitched it. They pitched it uh, to Netflix, and Netflix wouldn't take it. And then they pitched it to another network, and then finally HBO picked it up. Exactly. It got told no several times before HBO picked it up, and it started with a pilot, and it ran there. And you think about some of the actors they've had; they got some great actors on it. Got some phenomenal actors, um, and they killed off plenty of actors on there too. That's a pretty bloody show for the most part. What was it, the, the Rose Wedding or the Red, red, wedding? red wedding? The Red Wedding where they slice and dice. And last night they slice and dice, like, oh, poison everybody in the show to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm trying to get at it is I, I find it amazing to see something that's gone seven years now. Think about it. Where were we seven years ago? 2010, right? Greg's like, I don't remember. Where were you seven years ago? In high school, Greg? High school. High school? Tenth grade. Tenth grade? Okay. You just got out of high school. Yeah. Uh, 2010, I was up starting my road trip. Jen? Uh, I just became a mother of four. Just became a mother of four. <laughs> yeah. Fourth one. Fourth one, who's in the audience here? High five, little man. Sorry, there. There we go. Uh, but that's what I'm trying to get at. You never know what's going to happen seven years from now. I know. <laughs> it is weird to think about. The thing that you have to keep about is what's happened in seven years. Well, they've had seven seasons. You're going to have different seasons in your note investing or real estate investing career. And a lot of people um, don't put the work in on a regular basis to make things happen. Um, it's funny to see this. People like they want the instant gratification. I want to be an Emmy Award winner. I want to be an Oscar winner. Well, you don't get that without putting the work in, the work in, the work in, the work in, the work in. Now, I'll give an example of another story. Uh, one of my favorite speeches, an acceptance speech, okay, is somebody from Austin here who won Best Actor two, two years ago. All right, all right, all right, okay. Matthew McConaughey, hey, hey. <laughs> for the, his, his role in the Dallas Buyers Club. Now, if you think about it, that guy has been through a lot of things dating back to, uh, you, got, you got, you know, the whole thing about, I love high school girls. <laughs> I love girls in high school. The older I get, the more they stay the same, you know, from days to confused, all right? 
that's the biggest thing. The guy's been through so many different movies and different genres and the romantic comedies and stuff like that. Well, he really dove into his work and 20 years later, basically, got the ultimate award. How many of you guys and gals out there aren't putting the work in? How many of you out there are doing a little bit, but then like, oh, I'm going to do something else? How many of you are busy promoting your other things or somebody else's stuff instead of your own dreams and passions? Okay, I know it's Monday. I know it's the summer. Many people are on vacation or, well, it's hot outside or what like that. I get that. It's Monday. A lot of people have the case of Mondays. People, a lot of people don't want to roll out of bed this morning. Trust me, I'm jet lagged. I didn't get in until about one last night from LA. Okay. I'm a little jet lagged, <laughs> but that's okay. I have my friend, Mr. Rojo Toro, to help me out there. Toro de Rojo. Toro de Rojo. That's exactly how you would do it in Espanol, right, Greg? Uh, yeah, sounds like it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. Yeah, sounds like it. Greg, I don't do this. Right. Anyway. <laughs> What I'm getting at, everybody, is I put this up because it's good to laugh at. It's good to have interest. But it's a great identifier to bring people together on a variety of things. We all have different interests, okay? We all have things that we're interested in. But many people aren't even using things out there like this to market to. Like, I, te- Nicole can vouch. I already texted her a message last night as I was sitting I don't remember when I said it to you. I guess it was right when I was getting on the airplane by 9 o'clock. Probably 9, 9.30, something like that. 9.30, I guess. Uh, just as the season was halfway through here, all mm-hmm. right, uh, about using something else to game of notes, yeah. all right, or notes are coming, you know, just joking around, being funny and stuff like that. But those are the little things that you all can do in your business by taking something as iconic now as the iron front behind me and marketing. Now, I even got a picture of me on the iron front when it came to South by Southwest a couple years ago. Um, I go do those things, and yes, maybe silly, maybe silly of you to jump in if you're out in the Bahamas and you see a, a surfer picture and you jump in with your head in a hole there taking a photo like that. Just do silly things to market. Do silly things to share. It's gotten so easier these days to use this to market with. Okay, yes, we're doing some little fancy here with the Zoom this morning with our webinar and our podcast of this, basically. But what I'm trying to get at everybody is don't be afraid to share. And if you're busy liking everybody else's posts but not sharing or creating your own, hey, thanks for helping out. But you're not going to get any further along, especially if you're struggling to do deals, you're struggling to raise capital. If you're so busy struggling, it's because you're not getting out there outside of comfort level. I'll give you another example. It's just crazy. I was, we were at the uh, Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. And they have the, I guess it's the Maroon Theater there, the Hollywood Theater there at the Roosevelt. And they had the curtains drawn and you couldn't get into it. Well, I took a photo in front of it and I posted and I got about 50 likes. And I posted, are you the leading actor or actress in your own life? Are you just a supporting actress? And my half-sister responded, oh, I'm just a a, a backstage hand. I'm like, what? In your own life? In your own life, you're an extra. Okay, you get that happens a lot of times. People go through the, the roles of doing the same thing over and over again, or they never want to step outside of, they want to stay in the shadows. I guess that's okay. It, it, that's for everybody. But if you're not where you want to be, you, if you're not doing the things you want to do on a weekly, daily, monthly, quarterly, annual basis, you get out, got to step out of the shadows and into the light of the stage. Okay, can't have stage fright when it comes to market. Can't have stage fright when it comes to making things happen for your own dreams and goals okay so yes it's monday we have a little motivation monday here this morning that was kind of thing you know you do it without being poisoned or having your throat sliced this morning actually it gets better as i get closer doesn't it a little bit a little bit cody says he's an action figure in his life he is yes you all can be the last action hero (laughs) uh one of the first movies i ever went actually the first movie i went to the movie theater to see i was a freshman in high school was The Last Boy Scout with Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans. Still one of my favorite movies. Um, and then one of the ones that uh, came out is uh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Was it Last Action Hero? You know? Yeah. You guys ever seen that one? What? That must be before my time. Before your time. Yes, that would have been, I would have been, um, golly, 16, I guess, at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And you were uh, shiny object in your dad's eye. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm trying to get at everybody, there's little things you can do. There's little things you can just do on a daily basis. One step, one step, one step. 
You don't have to run a marathon each day. This is a long-term race. It's a long-term marathon. So if you don't know where you're at, but you probably know where you want to be. And I look back the last seven years, and it has been an amazing roller coaster ride, ups and downs, ups and downs. And the downs are higher than the ups were ever originally to begin with. And I know it's scary for a lot of people because I get phone calls all the time from people, uh, from people that are doing things. They're like, I'm scared to do things. I'm like, why are you scared? You've been an investor, real estate investor for 20, 30 years. This is nothing any different. It's nothing any different. You're, you're busy out marketing what you're doing on the weekends or stuff like that, but not marketing your business. Really, where are your priorities? Where is the success? I can literally look at somebody's social media profile and tell you if they're successful. Yeah, if they're busy posting too many political things, they're not successful. They're too busy bashing on everybody else's post, they're not successful, okay? If they're just negative, you can tell they're gonna be negative in real life, they're not gonna find the success. And in life, you've gotta have a positive mindset. You've gotta be, gotta see the silver lining even on the rain clouds, okay? And you've got to have a quick rebound. You've got to have a quick next attitude uh, or the next thing, next play, next play. A great analogy is if you're a big fan of football, quarterbacks. If you throw an interception, make, make a mistake, you got to go on and do something. Forget about it, move on to the next play. Forget about it, move on to the next play. You make a phone call and ask the major, and you botch it. You bite your tongue or ah, I hang up. You got to move on to the next asset major make things happen and that's what it's all about everybody so today i challenge you to do something different this week i challenge you to take a different step into the light instead of, and step out of the shadows i challenge you to be a little bit different and be who you are and celebrate who you are because you know what you will find you will find that when you celebrate and share your difference in your independence you'll find more success you'll find people that admire you that follow you that will want to work with you because you're not scared to be who you are and ultimately i think that's what a lot of people that are in a job or working 40 hours a week in a career that they hate they're dying inside for the independence to be something different so pull out your sword slice and dice and go make something happen for that. So any questions, comments? No. Ah, uh, the 90s stuff. Nope. Not nope, today. Not today. All right, guys. Well, it's Monday. We've got a uh, very busy week. We have uh, Fast Track students coming in this week. We've got a full house this cool. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I've got a pot. I'm on an interview tomorrow, I think, right? Yeah, I think, oh, you have an interview Wednesday. Wednesday. That's what's yes. on this calendar up here. No, it is. Yeah. Wednesday. 6 p.m. with the self-directed IRA club. That's well, self-directed IRA club. Yes. Um, and then we've also working on finalizing some bits today. Are they able to look, or is that going to be like a web interview or is that going to be like an in-person interview? It'll be a webinar. Okay. Are they able to know? Yes, I'll be posting okay. the link to that interview uh, later today or tomorrow. We'll send the emails out I'm good. for it. So, But tonight we have a very special feature on Note 9 in America. We have a, uh, an attorney coming on. Uh, is it Jason Daniels? I believe is his name. Okay, Jason McDowell. Ooh, looks like I have a grill. Hang on yeah, here. Every time, every time you smile. <laughs> <laughs> every time you talk, you can see the iron grill on your cheese. I uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it did say a solid color. So. It said a solid color. Solid white. <laughs> uh, Anyways, that's funny. But anyway, tonight we'll be talking about owner financing, how to owner finance your REOs. Now, if you're in the note business long enough, ultimately you're going to end up foreclosing on probably about 40 to 50% of the assets that you end up buying. What do you do with those assets? Well, you can turn around and sell them traditionally, but sometimes you may want to look at continuing to have the cash flow and owner finance these assets for long term. So tonight we have a very special guest with uh, an attorney coming on to talk about how he's owner financing the markets. Uh, this guy's been helping out several of our mastermind students, including the likes of Jake Tenenbaum, finance a lot of their REOs in different parts of the country to make things happen. So look forward to that at 7 o'clock. We've got a, a, a packed house. There's already over 500 plus RSVP for it, which is great. Um, make sure you get registered for it. And we look forward to seeing you all tonight at the top. So have a great day, everybody. Go out and slice and dice, make things happen. We'll see you all at the top. Bye.